Oh, no thanks, Turnip. It's almost lunchtime. <laughs> Guys, the captain! Octonauts, we've just spotted a beautiful beach. Now, we've all been working hard, so how about we take the afternoon off and have a picnic? All right! Sounds great. Delightful. We'll find a good spot, mateys. And then you can join us on the beach. Octonauts, prepare for a picnic. Captain, I think Tunip just said that the Vegimals will make your favourite dessert, vanilla kelp pudding. Thanks, Tunip. Be sure to make plenty for everyone, because you can never have too much pudding. Barnacles out. <sighs> Fresh air, sunshine and sand. Ah, can't wait to kick off me boots and dig me paws in the sand. It's so quiet and peaceful and... Ah, 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 oh, ah, ah, ah. Are you hurt? Ah. Don't be afraid, little crab. What's wrong? It, it, it's my leg. It, it really hurts. I'm Peso. I'm a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Let me take a look. Uh, right here. Hmm. You need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, thanks. That's much better. How did you hurt your leg? I fell off a rock when I was running away from... the blob. <gasps> What's... The blob. It's a thing that grows bigger and bigger and bigger. How big does it get? It's so big that it pushed me right off the rock where I live. If you don't get out of the way, it stings you. I got away, but my crab friends are still there, trapped in a hole in the rock. I have to go back and save them from the blob. You won't have to do it alone. We'll help you. Aye, matey. We're not afraid of... The blob. Oh, wow. First you fixed my leg, and, uh, and now you're going to help me and my friends. Wh who are you guys? We are the Octonauts. Barnacles to Dashy. Dashy here, Captain. I'm afraid it's not picnic time just yet. We need to take care of an emergency on the beach first. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll be at HQ if you need us. Don't worry, Tunip. You can still make pudding. We're almost to the rock where my friends are trapped. <gasps> there it is. The blob. That's the blob, me hearty. It's a puny little thing. Yeah, but one blob can become two blobs. And two blobs can become four blobs. <laughs> That's how it gets so big. Look! Flappity flippers. That's where my friends are trapped. Barnacles to Shellington. Shellington here, Captain. Have you ever heard of creatures that can split in two and make copies of themselves? Why, yes, Captain. Those are aggregate anemones. Aggravating enemies? No, no, no. Aggregate anemones. They can make lots and lots of copies of themselves. And when two groups of these anemones meet, they fight over space. They have special stingers for attacking each other. No! 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 Uh oh! It's hit the Octo Alert! Oh, 
Astronauts, are you all right? Captain, we were just attacked by... Oh, no, the radio's broken. Mm. Vanilla kelp pudding. Mm. Delicious. We've lost contact with the octopod. Ah, I bet these anemones are trying to take over the octopod just like they took over this rock. Hmm. Dashi said they were under attack. We need to get back there right away. Uh, don't leave me here alone. We won't. Peso, stay here with our crab friend, but don't move. Quasi and I will be back as soon as we can. Yes, Captain. Quasi, let's go. Into the gut. Don't worry. We'll help your friends just as soon as the Captain gets back. <laughs> oh, no. They're making more copies of themselves. Oh my, there's a different group of anemones on the other side of the rock. They're getting closer. Ah, I don't see anyone in HQ. Just a whole lot of blobs. All right, we're going in. Yeah, it's quiet. Too quiet. I don't like all this quiet. Then why are we whispering? Hm. Oh. Shiver me, whisk! Yeah. Sorry, Captain. What? We're having a bit of a, a pudding problem. Pudding? pudding? Mm -hmm. Well, at least it's a tasty problem. Hi, Captain. But we need to get back to the beach to help Peso. Don't worry, Cap. We'll get this pudding problem fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. All right, Tweak. Quasi, into the gup again. Peso, we're on our way. Hold your position. I don't think I have much of a choice, Captain. Ow! Oh. They're stinging each other. Ow! 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 Ow, that really hurt. Oh, yeah, I stung you, because you stung me. You stung me first. No, you stung me first. Ow! 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 Got you last. Ow! Good, <laughs> got you last. Ow! 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 My friends, they'll get stung. Ow! 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 Stop! Anemones, please. Stop stinging each other. This rock belongs to us, and they've got to go. We've got to go. They've got to go. So you're fighting for a home? We get to stay here because we were here first. We were here first. Actually, this little crab and his friends were here first. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Just coming through. Thank you very much. Which means both of you are on their rock. Oh. Oh. Well, we have to live somewhere. What about us? We have to live somewhere, too. Let's work out a way for everyone to share this rock. Why don't you, anemones, move back and stay on this side of the rock, and you, anemones, stay on this side, and both of you keep the middle free for the crabs. And please, no more stinging. We'll, we'll do, do it if they do it. it. We'll, we'll do, do it. it. High five! <laughs> Ouch! Yeah. Now let me see if I have something to make your stings feel better. Yeah, they really hurt. I bet mine hurt more. No, mine do. I've got a Peso. Yeah, I've got a rat. Are you okay? Everything's fine, Captain. Peso stopped the battle of the blobs. Good work, Peso. But what about the other blobs back at the octopod, Captain? Oh, don't worry, Peso. Aye, they're not the stinging kind. Now this is a blob of pudding. <laughs> Octonauts, activate spoons. There's plenty for everyone. Dig in. Come on, yeah. dig in. Peso, be sure to keep an eye on your little brother. 
We're going to have so much fun, Mum. We're going to play games on the octopod and we're going to... All right, Pinto, but we can't play right now. Captain Barnacles and the others are out on a mission and they need my help. There's an injured fish who needs a medic right away. Pinto, promise to do whatever your big brother tells you. And Peso, good luck on your mission. Love you. Love you too, Mummy. Bye, Mum. Wow, a mission! This is just like the time those baby sea snails were in trouble and you saved them. Remember? You were a big hero. Oh, I wouldn't call myself a hero. Well, how about when you have to take care of animals that are big and scary? You have to be really brave to do that. Well, it's all part of the job. Can I come with you? Please, please, please! I don't see why not, as long as you stay out of trouble. I will. Oh, wow! Thanks, Peso! Captain, I'm on my way. And I've brought my little brother Pinto with me. Ah, very good. We'll see you both in a few minutes. Pinto, scarf off, helmet on. Good to see you again, Pinto. Hi. Glad you're here to help out your brother. Where's the patient? Right this way. I bet it's a barracuda, or a devilfish, or, or maybe even a giant octopus. Oh. That's the patient? Uh -huh. Say, ah. Uh. I reckon it's really, really serious. Can you even talk? Uh, actually, I've got a bruise on me feet. Pinto, would you please hand me your stethoscope? A thermometer, tongue depressor, body cast! Just a bandage roll, please. There, that should do it. Dashi, can you please take a picture so I can show my friends what a hero my big brother is? No problem. You should rest. Would you like to come back to the octopod with us so that you can get better? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Good work, Peso. And Pinto. We still have some exploring to do around here. See you later back at the Octopod. Wow, an anglerfish. <gasps> What's that? Are you a snake or an eel? Uh, hey guys, would you come over here and help me work out what I'm looking at? Hey, what is that? I wonder what that was. It was huge. Ah, oh, a tail like that can only belong to one thing, mateys. The dreaded monster of the deep known as the Nakawak. The Naka what? The Naka Whack. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of it, he does. Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? I bet that Naka Whack comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashi took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal, but none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Thanks, Professor. Barnacle's out. Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Uh, oh, I'd love to play, but uh, I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one? And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters. Look, over there! No, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. Hi, 
right into that Nakawak's lair. Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. Inkling? Captain? Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. Excuse me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh. Ah. <coughs> Sound the octo alert! Sound the octo alert! Octonauts, to your stations! Octonauts, who sounded the octo alert? What's wrong? I'm sorry, Captain, but we saw the monster! It was right outside Professor Inkling's window and... Ah! We have to get back to the octopod now. Hang on. Long tail? Red spikes, silvery skin? Of course! Now I know what it is. It's an oarfish! An oarfish? I've never even heard of an oarfish. That's because they're so rare. <laughs> you see, Pinto? I told you it wasn't a monster. Pinto? Where did he go? Oh dear, I know where he's going. And we'd better catch him before he gets there. <laughs> Stop! Pinto, what do you think you're doing? I'm looking for the monster. It's not a monster, it's an oarfish, and... Ugh! Wow! That's the longest fish I've ever seen in my life. I don't think the oarfish feels very well. This one, he's crying. Let me check. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Orfish, are you all right? Oh, no, I feel awful. Why did you follow us back to the octopod? Oh, I wouldn't usually, I'm kind of shy. But when I saw you take care of that other fish, I thought maybe you could help me too. Of course I'll help. What's wrong? Oh, my throat, it really hurts. And I'm the longest fish in the ocean, so that's a lot of throat. OK, let's have a look. Say, ah. Ah. Wider, please. Ah. Wow! A vast, it's the Nakawak, and it's got peso. We have to save him. Your throat is all red. I think all you have is a bad cold. Why don't we... Yeah! Don't worry, Peso. I won't let the Nakawak hurt me, little buddy. Whoa, whoa, Quasi. False alarm. This isn't a Nakawak. Huh? It's an oarfish. The longest fish in the ocean. <laughs> you mean you weren't trying to eat Peso here? Ah! Of course not. I only eat tiny things, and besides, I don't have any teeth. Luke! Ah. I knew that. Now we just have to work out how to fit him into the sick bay. Amazing! The oarfish can keep his body straight up while he swims. Teal looks good down here. How do things look up there, Peso? Looks good, Tweak. Ah, oh, I'm feeling better already. He is incredibly long. I can see why you might think he was a sea monster, Quasi. Yep, my brother's a hero, all right. He helps any creature who's sick or hurt, from the smallest fish to the longest. And look, Pinto, I took that picture you wanted of him so you can show your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Say, ah, please. Ah. 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 Your 
both perfectly healthy. Captain, these sea cucumbers can go back to their rocks now. Okay, let's go. Thanks. Huh? Come on. I could use a checkup. Of course. What's your name? <laughs> My name's Dorian. Careful now. I'm an old jelly. I'll be very careful. Oh, oh, oh. I could use a little uh, snacky snack. Oh, <gasps> oh no! Ah! Oh, this is too scary for an old jelly like me. <laughs> huh? Now, where's that jelly go? Uh... Dorian, is that you? <laughs> what happened to your tentacles? Are you all right? Do you need help? <laughs> Captain, Quasi, follow that baby jellyfish. Uh, why are we chasing after a little baby jellyfish? A couple of minutes ago, he was a grown-up jelly, but then he turned into a baby. But grown-ups don't turn into babies. But I saw it with my own eyes. I know who might be able to explain it. Shellington? Shellington here, Captain. Shellington, take a look at this. That's a baby jellyfish, Captain. Yes, but a few minutes ago, he was a grown-up jellyfish. He was frightened by a sea turtle, and then something very strange happened. The grown-up jellyfish changed into a baby jellyfish. Yes. Jumping immortal jellyfish! Don't lose sight of that baby jelly! Right, I'll need my nightcap. I mean my notecap. Ah, I mean my notebook. Huh? Oh, uh, 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 Tunip, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the Jelly Bay! The Jelly Bay? Uh... about Jelly Bay, not the Lancer Bay. Oh, oh, thanks, Tunip. Uh, one more time. Octonauts, to the Launch Bay! <laughs> Shellington, what's going on? Captain, this is so exciting. You found an immortal jellyfish. I, you, you still have him, don't you? <laughs> right here, safe and sound. What's so exciting about it, matey? An immortal jellyfish can do something no other creature can do. Turn back into a baby and start its life all over again. So that means an immortal jelly can live forever? Yes, unless something eats it. Don't worry, I've got it. Captain, the immortal jelly is the only creature in the world who makes this amazing change. I've never had the chance to see one for myself. Until now, we'll keep this baby immortal jelly safe until you can get here. Thank you, Captain. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh. Uh, oh. <coughs> uh, wait, uh, where's my notebook? Uh, and my magnifying glass. Oh, oh, thanks, Tunit. No, no, I'll drive. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Be careful, Shellington. Oh, don't worry. Right. <coughs> uh, oh, 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 that's better. Captain, I'm on my way. I'll be there as fast as I can. All right, Shellington, but don't worry. We'll take good care of this baby jelly. Now all we have to do is to wait for Shellington. Do, 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 do. Shellington, Shellington. Oh, where are all those bubbles coming from? <gasps> oh, 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 yeah! oh, oh. oh, no! Where's Dorian? There, mateys! We've got to catch that jelly before the whale swallows it. No, it's heading for the whale's mouth. <laughs> Time for some tickling. Tickling? We'll tickle the whale to keep his mouth open long enough to grab the baby jelly. Quasi, you take the tail, I'll take the belly, and Peso... I'll take the jelly. Let's go. Activate Tickle! 
down somewhere on a nice, secure... Rocker. Rock! A rock? Yes, a growing jelly goes through big changes. First, the baby attaches to a rock. Next, it turns into a polyp. And then the polyp turns into the grown-up jelly. Understood. We'll find a rock then. And I'll see you soon, Captain. Shellington, out! Out, out of the way! Oh, oh, oh. oh. I'll, I'll just get us going again. Uh. Oh. The gap's not working. We need another way to travel. Swimming will take too long. Oyster, oyster. Booster packs. Good thinking, Tunip. Activate booster packs. Wait for me. Shut. Take. Lock. No. This looks like a good spot for the baby jelly. Here you go. No. I think he likes it, matey. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. No, that's more like it. Dorian, is that you? Of course it's me, man. I've just been going through some changes, that's all. I've gone from a baby to a polyp. And it won't be long until I'm all grown up again. I hope Shellington gets here in time to see it happen. Uh, not far. No. Let's boost uh, our speed. Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! oh no, I broke the booster packs. I'm sorry, Tunip. Shadow. Tunip? I found a rover. Come on. Oh, good thinking, Tunip. To the coral reef, please. Next stop, the coral reef. And you better hold on tight. <laughs> what is it, Dorian? I'm feeling a little funny. You don't have a fever. Does anything hurt? Are you hungry? Or oh, sleepy? No, man. It's, it's like I need to sneeze or, or hiccup or make a change. Oh, this is it. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. <laughs> Look at me. I'm all grown up. And Shellington missed it, Captain. Oh no, that sailfish is coming right for me. <laughs> oh, amazing! I got to see him turn into a baby jelly right before my eyes. You got here just in time, Shellington. Super, super. Well. We hit a teeny bump here and there, but mostly it was smooth sailing. Right, Tunip? Hmm, I wonder what those little lights are up ahead. 
Shellington? It could be a group of tiny firefly squid, Captain. They glow in the dark. Let's dim the lights so we can get a better look at them. Already on it, Captain. I still can't tell what they are for certain. They don't seem to be moving. Then let's get a little closer. Closer. Ah! Jumping jellyfish! Dashie, put us in reverse and pull away. I'm trying, Captain, but something has got us. Oh. Oh. Switch to steering wheel mode now. Must break free. Oh, oh dear. Ow. What? Shiver me whiskers. Lapperty flippers. It's no good, we're held tight. Dashy, lights. Let's see what's got us. Aye, aye, Captain. <gasps> it's an enormous eye. Those itty bitty lights around my eye fooled you, didn't they? You didn't know they belonged to big old me. We mean you no harm. Please, let go of us at once. No. Whoa. I grab it, I keep it, you weird looking squid. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to the HQ! <laughs> Shellington, any idea what's grabbed us? Yes, it's a colossal uh, squid. It's like my cousin, the giant squid, only oh, bigger. It's uh, the biggest squid in the ocean. I wish it would stop shaking us. No more shaking. Phew, that was easy. Time for squeezing. Yeah, he'll crush the octopod. Not if we match him tentacle for tentacle. Tweet. I've got just the thing, Cap. We're in this tentacle suit. Professor Inkling will be able to move the arms of the octopod as if they were his own. Whoa! I may not be good at pushing buttons, but I'm an expert at tentacle wrestling. Excellent. Activate tentacle suit. <laughs> Twist to the side. <laughs> now down. <laughs> That's it. Ha-ha! You're swashbuckling like a proper pirate, Professor. Ugh, oh, my. I need to break free before he gets his hooks in us. Hooks? What hooks? The colossal squid has hooks on the ends of his tentacles. Yeah, which makes it quite a challenge to get away from him. Almost there. Just a few more twists and turns, and we'll be... <laughs> ah! <gasps> Ink Cloud, a classic move from the squid playbook. Oh, no! I can't see where his tentacles are. That's right! Eat my ink! <laughs> I'm taking you down! Way down! <laughs> Captain, I'm afraid he's hooked us! Understood. Quasi, to the launch bay. Here's the plan. We'll swim outside and use our own paws to pry those hooks off the ship. <laughs> ah, these hooks are no match for a swashbuckling pirate. For every hook we loosen, two more move into place. <laughs> This will take all my polar bear strength. Got it! Oh. Captain, incoming tentacle! Thanks, Quasi. Anytime. Better keep moving. Captain, there's something heading straight for us. It's a pod of sperm whales, and sperm whales love to eat colossal squid. 
Ooh. I don't like the sound of that. If the sperm whales try to eat the colossal squid... Then they might take a bite out of the octopod, too. Oh, it's every squid for himself. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Stop holding on to me. Let go. You're the one who's hooked on to us. You're right. I'm stuck. I'll never get away from the sperm whales if I can't move fast enough. Captain, the sperm whales are getting closer. <laughs> We're doomed. Don't worry. We'll keep you and the octopod safe from the sperm whales. Octonauts, prepare all gups for launch. <laughs> All our colossal dinner. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh, hey, this is fun. Everyone, pull up. Up, 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 up. up. Now, back down. Oh, down. Chasing us. Yes, Peso, but sperm whales breathe air. So sooner or later, they'll have to swim back up to the surface to breathe. <sighs> Can't keep going. Must go up through air. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, thank you. You guys saved me. Um, I'm sorry about almost crushing your ship and stuff. No harm done. Well, not much anyway. And now, let's help you unhook yourself from the octopod. No, no. You just take it easy. Really, I can do it. Watch out, matey. Your hooks are digging in deeper. Just a little tentacle trouble, that's all. Are you sure you don't need some help? Hold your seahorses. I can do it. I'll just brace myself. And give it a good swan. Yes! No! Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh no! Tunip and the Vegemals are in there! Ah! They're sinking fast! We've no time to lose. Everybody, dive! <laughs> Dark. I can't see the pod. I see it. I see it. You're pulling me, Paul. It's too dark down here to see anything. I have the biggest eyes in the ocean. And I can see just fine without light. Then let's use your squid vision. Where are they now? I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh-oh. Down. Go down. Everyone, dive. Why? The other way! Bring the cups around! Hurry! They're headed for some sharp rocks! You've got one free tentacle. Reach out with it now and grab them if you can. All right. I think I got it. Oh, I got it! Octonauts, pull up! Well done. Sometimes a spare tentacle really comes in handy. I'm great at grabbing, but I have a hard time letting go. I guess I could use some help after all. Operation Untangle Tentacles begins now. all your tentacles are back where they belong, it's time to return one of ours. Tweak? Okay, big guy. Bring up the pod. That's it. Up a little more. Down a little. A little more. Now to your left. <laughs> uh, to your other left. Got it! Super, super! Good work, everyone. I think this calls for a tentacle bump. Yeah! Easy now. Watch the hooks, matey. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Captain, there's outside. I saw a. What's all the commotion about? There's something out there. Something big. Really big. I saw it. It's huge. It's white. And it made a noise like... Whoa. Captain, look at this. I managed to snap a picture of whatever's out there. That's it. That's what I saw. What on earth could it be? It's as big as a whale. But whales are usually dark greyish. Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be hurt. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi! Sound the Octo Alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak? If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That scallywag must be around here somewhere. This way. A vast, strange heat patterns are coming from that pink-coloured reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. And then we'd better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> <gasps> this is no reef. Some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. What? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. 
I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're gonna need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus. Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. Oh, I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino? It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. We have to hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh. Looks like we've got company. A school of squid. We'll go around them. At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them. What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. Two, three! Hey! Uh, nice driving back there. Excellent work, Octonaut. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more, and finished. Ha! <laughs> a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Well, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it's working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect!
reporting for my training exercise, Captain. Very good, Peso. The guppy is ready, Cap. Thanks, Tweak. Now, let's go over the practice plan one more time. First, I pilot the guppy through the twilight zone all the way down into the midnight zone. Aye. The darkest place on Earth. A place so deep that the sun can't shine there. I know. It's always nighttime in the midnight zone. But you can hit that button to turn on the super bright lights. Right. Then, after I get to the midnight zone, I land on the seabed and come right back up. As fast as I can. You get to go to the midnight zone by yourself. Captain, I volunteer to go on this training exercise with him. Peso has to do this alone, Quasi. I have to learn to make the trip to the midnight zone by myself so that I can help the animals who live there. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Well, watch out for the vampire squid while you're down there. The vampire squid? What's that? A creature of the midnight zone, that's for sure. He wears a big cape covered in sharp spikes. His eyes glow in the dark. He squirts a horrible slime. And he lives in a haunted castle in the deepest, darkest part of the Midnight Zone. Don't worry, Peso. There are a lot of strange creatures down there, but no haunted castles. Now, let's begin. Ready, Captain. Tweak, open the Octo hatch. Please. You got it, Peso. Peso here. You're doing great. Just keep those flippers steady on the helm. Flippers steady, Captain. It's really dark now, and I'm not even close to the bottom. Oh, that's better. <gasps> What's that sound? All I have to do is touch down at the bottom and come back up as fast as I can. Sound again. I I made it by myself. All alone. All right, time to go. Oh, <gasps> ow, it hurts. Hurts? Up uh, are you hurt? <laughs> yes. And nobody cares. Oh! I care. Hold on. Peso to Octopod. Peso to Octopod. I found a creature in the Midnight Zone who needs help. Repeat. I found... Creature. Midnight Zone. Help. Help? Octopod to Peso. Come in, Peso. Sorry, Captain. Sometimes the radio doesn't work very well way down in the midnight zone. Hmm. Keep trying, Dashi. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick no matter what. What seems to be the problem? Um, excuse me. Oh. Ah! Wait, don't be afraid. I'm here to help. Captain, I've lost contact with Peso. He could need our help. Wazi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've lost contact with Peso in the Midnight Zone. Captain, I'm ready to go after him. Right. The Duck B is ready to go. Please, I can help you feel better. I'm a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick. Really? Yes. Oh my, your eyes glow in the dark. Those aren't my eyes. Those are just a couple of lights I have on the top of my head. I can turn them off when I want to. Oh. 
So those are your eyes. Well, it helps to have big eyes when you need to see in the dark. Oh! oh, oh Where does it hurt? Oh, it's one of my spikes. Uh, ow! Ow! Spikes? I don't see any spikes. Just like the vampire squid. It feels like it's near the top. See it? I see it. It looks like it's poking you. Ow! So, do you think you can help me? Yes. I have just the thing to make it as good as new. Uh, uh, what are you going to do with those things? They're just tweezers. I'll use them to straighten out the spike. Oh, no, no, it'll hurt even more. I promise I'll be very gentle. <laughs> promise? Promise. Huh? Hey, so! <laughs> Are you all right? Ah, I'm fine. Never better. Are you all right? I think I was just slimed by the, the vampire squid. The vampire squid? A vast, a trail of slime. Stand back. I'll go after him. Wait, he's hurt. He needs our help. Quasi, Quasi, are you okay? Quasi, can you hear me? There's no answer, Tweak. I need to go after them. I'll get the Gup D ready, Cap. <laughs> What's that? That's the vampire squid. Yow! Stay back. He's hurt. He's easily frightened, so please. Follow me and stay quiet and calm. All right, matey. But I'm ready to pounce if I have to. Don't be afraid. No surprises this time. <laughs> Promise? Promise. Peso! Quasi! <laughs> 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 Are you two all right? We've been slimed by a vampire squid. I've got to help him. He's hurt. Captain, the vampire squid is easily scared. It'll be much better if I go after him by myself. All right. Peso, we're here if you need us. <laughs> Please, don't swim away. It's just me, Peso. <laughs> I'm too tired to move, and my spike hurts more than ever. You've had quite a scare. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! My spike! It, it feels better. Good as new. You fixed it! You're amazing! <laughs> Just doing my job. Here's a sticker for being such a brave patient. Would you like to meet my friends now? I don't know. They're not as scary as they seem, I promise. Come on. OK. Captain Barnacles, Quasi, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, the Vampire Squid. Where's your cape covered in spikes? You mean this? Oh, yeah, that. This is not a cape. It's a webbing between my tentacles, and it helps me hide when I'm scared. <gasps> and when I'm really scared... Oh, <laughs> oh, we know! You slime! Oops, uh, sorry, Octonauts. I got a little carried away. Anyway, thank you for fixing my spy. Goodbye! Bye! Bye. Farewell! That was a lot more than a training exercise today, Peso. Good work. Just doing my job, Captain. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick. Even if it does mean getting slimed.
Sorry, Quasi. I'm on my way down to see who's at the door. Who could be knocking at this hour? I'll let you know after I answer it. Why don't I answer it? Mm, thanks, but I've got it. Last one to the door's a rotten fish head, Captain. You're on. Me. Hmm. Huh? Dudes, I'm down here. Huh? Oh, hello. What seems to be the trouble? Okay, look, there's some kind of creature back at the reef that's half crab, half sea urchin, and totally loud. None of us sea snails can get any sleep. We're, like, totally stressing. We need someone big to come to the reef and ask them to quiet and down. I'm, I'm on it. it. I'm happy to take care of this, Quasi. You go back to sleep. That's kind of you, Captain, but you go back to sleep. No, you go back to sleep. Sleep? Pirates are made for nighttime adventures. Look, I'm sure you could handle it, but I'm not sure you should handle it. Aye, but if I could handle it, then I would handle it, which means I should handle it, All because... All right, we'll both go. Fine. We don't need to wake everybody up. Quasi, sound the octo alert, but just in the launch bay. Tweak to the launch bay. <laughs> Tweak, this little snail needs our help. We need to head out to the reef. <sighs> aye, aye, Cap. I'll drive. So will I. We'll see you at the reef. And I'll get there first. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. Tweak, open the octo hatch. <laughs> Instead of just going fast, I picked the straightest route. Now, show us the way. Over there by the rock, see? I, I don't see a point. The point is that I'm always the one protecting you. Well, I'm always the one who finds all the food. Why, well, you just sit there. I don't just sit here. I do stuff. I protect you. I get... I, I... Wow! The snail was right! It is half crab and half sea urchin. Hmm. Let's call Shellington and find out if he's ever seen anything like this before. <laughs> Uh, hello? Sorry to wake you, Shellington, but we need your help. Take a look at this. What is this strange creature? Uh, oh, well, Captain, it's two separate creatures. It's a crab with a sea urchin stuck to its shell. But why are they stuck together like that? Uh, uh, because of symbiosis. Symbi- what? Symbiosis. When two creatures live very close together because they need each other for different reasons. The urchin needs the crab for food, and the crab needs the urchin for protection. Right. Thanks, Shellington. I put food on the table. What do you do? I eat it. I'll just ask the crab now? and the urchin to be quiet. What? Easy. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, Mr. Crab, Mr. Urchin. We're lost, we're lost. We're not lost. I know exactly where we are. Ahem. You said go left. I said go right. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. 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 Didn't. Mr. Crab, Mr. Urchin, there's a problem. 
He's, He's the, the problem. problem. You're the problem. I'm not the problem. Yes, you are. You're the problem. Now You're you see problem. what I mean. You're the problem. You can't even spell problem. You don't appreciate the fact that I carry you around and feed you all day. And you don't appreciate the fact that I keep you safe. Oi, keep it down where we are. Ah! Ah! Run away. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. I protect you from troublemakers like that. I'm sorry, I, I don't see your point. I got a lot of points. I'm an urchin. Hold on, please. You two are so loud that the sea snails can't get any sleep. Eh? Sorry. Sorry. You see, you're too loud. No, you're too loud. I am not too loud. Yes, you are. It's oh, too Captain. Too loud. You're too Maybe loud. these two would be better apart. They are two separate creatures, but they need each other for food and protection. Symbiosis, remember? Aye, but maybe they really just need a break from each other. A, a break, break from, from each, each other. other? Why didn't I think of that? Ha! I'd be fine without you. Um, no, I'll be fine without you. Ah, uh, uh, oh, I'm free! <laughs> no, I'm free. Ha! Yeah, hear that? Quiet. It's sleepy time for snails. Thank you for your help, Octonaut. <sighs> Enjoy your sleep, little sea snail. Are you both all right on your own? Uh, well, uh, I could use a lift to the other side of the reef. You know, a fresh start and all that. Captain, I'll give him a lift. <laughs> Good luck. I don't need a thing. I I'm just fine on my own. Oi, you, get off my rock. Oh, yeah? Talk to my pointy friend about that, buddy. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah, that's more like it. Are you sure you're OK? Yes, I'm fine. I'm, uh, well, no. When I had that spiky urchin on my shell, I, I look scary. Nobody mess with me. I suppose I don't look scary anymore. I'll help you learn how to stand up for yourself. Really? This looks like a nice rock for you, me hearty. Yeah, too crowded. There wouldn't be enough food for me. Okay. Uh, what about that one? You kidding me? Too small. There won't be enough food for me there either. Let's keep moving. Yes, let's keep moving. You just need to make yourself look big and strong. Rah! Now you try it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, nearly. You know, when I travel with the crab, he always shared his food. And what about you? You got any snacks for me? Uh, no. Unbelievable! No snacks! Well, what are you gonna do about that? You said you're gonna help me, so what's your plan, buddy? Uh, I don't have a plan. But I do know someone who's always good at coming up with one. Let's go and find Captain Barnacles. <laughs> now, raise your claws and say, Grr! Grr? Oh, I'm no good at this. It's all about attitude and confidence. And my friend Quasi could show you a thing or two about that. He doesn't let anything get in his way. Come on, let's go and find him. You're back. You're back. On my back. Uh, I missed you, buddy. I really did. So, you're happy to be back together? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize until now how much I need you. And I didn't realize how much I need you. Thanks, Thanks for your help, help Octonauts. See ya! Ah! 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 Run away! Hi. Those two are better off together than apart, Captain. That's symbiosis. Yow! Race you back to the octopod? Hey, you're on. Fascinating. Captain Barnacles to Shellington. Find anything interesting in the lagoon? I found something amazing, Captain. 
a whole school of hammerhead shark pups. Well, be careful. If they're babies, their parents might be nearby. Well, actually, hammerhead parents don't take care of their pups at all. They're on their own from the day they're born. The pups stick together and protect each other until they're old enough to... Oh! Yeah, yeah. Hey, this stingray don't taste right. It don't sound right either. And it's kind of hard to chew. This isn't a stingray, it's a gop. Hey, right here. We ain't done with you yet. Shellington, what's going on? These three hammerhead pups are still learning how to hunt, and the gup confused them. I'm just glad they didn't hurt themselves. Back in the water you go. Now, this should be a safe distance to study them from. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! Captain, the hammerheads have all left the lagoon. Got to find out where they're going. They seem to be in a real hurry. It's starting to get dark. And you know what that means. Night time. It's hunting time. Ready? Break! Oh no! Which way it uh, uh, ah. I've got to get out of here before the hammerheads... Oh, get away. Shellington, come in, Shellington. Uh, you won't believe this, but I've crashed the Gup D. Again? Yes, and I can't follow the hammerhead pup. I need backup. We've lost contact, Captain. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Shellington has crashed the Gup D. Again? Yes, he was following three hammerhead shark pups. We have to help him. Captain, it looks like he was heading toward the open ocean. That's a dangerous place for hammerhead pups. In that case, we'd better hurry. <laughs> Shellington, are you all right? I'm fine, Captain, but the hammerhead pups are gone. We need to split up to find them and then follow them. Yeah, follow a little baby hammerhead. This'll be easy. Just don't follow too closely, Quasi. They're still very young and the gups may confuse them. Got it. Shellington, you're with me. Octonauts, let's do this. Still no sign of any hammerheads. Wait. Shellington, I think I see one of them. Great. Now, don't let him out of your sight. That should be hard. He's just nosing along the seabed like he's looking for something. I can't see you, Stingray, but I can smell you under there. Oh, yeah? Smell this! Ah! Oh, no! The hammerhead just got stung by a stingray. Don't worry, Peso. Hammerheads don't mind a stingray sting or two. <laughs> that won't stop me. No. How's about them? Go get them, boys. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, dear. I've got to help him. Oh. 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 Hello. Don't be afraid. I'm a medic, and I'm here to take these stinger barbs out. Whoa. One down. A lot more to go. Sharky, sharky, sharky. Aha! Looks like she's after an octopus. Got you right where I want you. Oh. Actually, it looks like I've got you. I got me, octopus. I won't be able to follow that pup anywhere if that octopus gets her first. Uh, I know. Ah, take a shark. 
tweak's new camouflage worked like a charm. That old octopus thought I was a... <gasps> tiger shark! Wait! I'm not really a tiger shark, I... Oh, these little pups really do get confused by the cups. Quasi to Shellington. I'm following one of the hammerhead pups, and she's a wily one. Good work, Quasi. Don't lose her now. Well, that's two of the hammerhead pups. Just one more to find. I can smell food. I just can't see it. <coughs> you can't get away from me. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, my head is stuck. <laughs> hey, somebody, help! Look, down there. The third hammerhead. And he's stuck. <laughs> We're the Octonauts. We're here to help. <laughs> he's really stuck. We'd better call for backup. There, the last one. Peso, Quasi, come in. We found the third pup, but his head is stuck. We need your help. Stuck? We've got to help me, brother! Captain, we're on our way! <laughs> come on, our brother's in trouble! Oh, no! Ahoy, Peso! These little pups put up a good chase, don't they? You're telling me? Uh, Peso, Quasi, over here. Oh, oh, ouch. This does me feel too good. Some slippery ointment should help slide his hammerhead out. Good idea. Everyone else, grab a fin. There. Don't worry. We'll have you out and swimming in no time. On my count, everyone pull. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, guys, look behind me. Oh, fascinating. Hammerhead's eyes allow them to see what's behind them, like that... Shark! <gasps> this should give him something to chew on. Hey, those things don't taste too good, do they? I'm sure you'd taste a lot better. <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, bet you can't catch me. <laughs> Peso, follow me and bring your friend. Quasi, keep that shark busy. Over here, you scurvy shark! Hey! Oh, oh where'd they go? Here! We've got something tasty for ya! Ooh. <laughs> now! <laughs> Everyone, get back! What's the big idea? He was alone! Hey, what's happening? Uh oh. Hey. Well, I think he got the point. That was so cool. Well done, everyone. He is. Don't forget about me. Whoops. Sorry about that. Ready? Pull. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> we did it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks for all your help. Not like we needed it or nothing. Hey, we've got to get going. See you around. Wait, we still don't know where you're going. Follow us and we'll show you. What are we waiting for? Let's go! We're in the open ocean now. There's nothing around for hundreds of miles. Where could they be going? A vast, mateys. There's something up ahead. Something big. A sea mount. It's not on any of our maps. Ha! We must be the first to discover it. Actually, I think the hammerheads beat us to it. Look. So that's where they all went. They must rest here during the day when they're not hunting. Bye. Thanks again. See you later. Bye-bye. Take care of yourselves. Good luck, mateys. Bye-bye. Hey, look! A stingray! Yummy, yummy! Oh, Whoa! Oh, yum. <laughs> this isn't a stingray, it's a gop! <laughs> Good work, Tweak. The 
rover cam is working perfectly. Now we can send it in to film the sea creatures living in all that seaweed. I wouldn't send anything in there if I were you, matey. Or you may never see it again. Things disappear in this part of the ocean. That's why we pirates call it the Sea of Vanishing Ships. They say it's the sea monsters that made them disappear. Slimy monsters of seaweed with long stringy fingers who like to take what's not theirs. Ow! See what I mean? Oh, that's no monster. It's a loggerhead sea turtle. They're great navigators, so they can find their way through anything. Tweak, can you follow it with the rover cam? You got it, Shellington. Ooh, where did he go? Looks like it's the sea of vanishing ships and sea turtles, too. Shaking. I'm picking up some underwater tremors. We've lost contact, Cap. Now it's the sea of vanishing rover cams. The rover cam hasn't vanished, Quasi, but the shaking must have damaged it. We gotta find it, Cap. I'm going in. You're not going in alone, Tweak. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going into that seaweedy mess to find Tweak's rover cam. The driving could get tricky in there. We'll take the Gup X. You got it, Kia. Tweak, Peso, and Quasi, you're with me. We'll be the first to go into the sea of vanishing ships and come back out again. If we're lucky. Shiver, whiskers, tis a jungle out there. I hope it's not the sea of vanishing octonauts. Don't worry, Peso. We won't get lost in here. With the Gulf X's mapping system, we can always find our way back to the octopod. This is where we lost contact with the rover cam. Any sign of it, Tweak? Nope, nothing yet, Cap. <gasps> There's that sea turtle again. The rover cam was following him when it broke. Let's ask if he's seen it. Yeah, he disappeared again. <gasps> Over there. Let's try and catch up with him. There he goes. Here he goes. <laughs> Now, which way did he go? Oh, oh, the tea flippers. Another tremor. Hold on, everyone. Yeah. Oh. The X is breaking up. Tweak, are you all right? I'm fine. But all that shaking split up the Gup X. We've lost the glider and the octa ski. And the captain and Quasi. Tweak to Captain Barnacles. Come in. Cap? Quasi? Oh, it's no use. The radio's broken too. Tweak, Peso, are you all right? We've lost contact with the rest of the Gup X. You mean. It's vanished. No, it's out there. We just need to find it. But first, we need to get the glider moving. Let's go out and check on the damage. First things first, Peso. I gotta fix the gup connector. Gup connector? I designed the gup X so the different sections would always be able to find each other. Once the gup connector is working, it'll pull all the other parts of the gup X back together. Along with the captain and Quasi. That's right. Now, can you hand me a number nine spanner? Of course. Lost its slimy seaweed. We'll have to pull it out. Who said that? I knew it. This sea is full of ghosts. I thought you said it was full of sea monsters. That too? Whatever you be, you'd best be gone. 
I can't. Huh? I'm stuck, very possibly forever. Oh! <gasps> A loggerhead sea turtle! The name's Lenny, and my shell is hard enough to protect me for now, but this thing's getting really heavy. Don't worry, Lenny. We are the Octonauts, and we'll get you out safely. You may want to pull your head and flippers into your shell just to be safe. Oh, wish I could. We loggerhead sea turtles can't hide inside our shells. Our heads and flippers are too big. Then we'll have to be extra careful. Come on, Quasi. One, two, three, left! Left! I'll have this gub connector fixed faster and you can see a bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Number two spanner, please. Number five screwdriver. Number three carrot. Ooh. What's that? <gasps> The slimy seaweed monster, just like in Quasi's story. <laughs> Hold on, that's not a monster. It's our rover can. I'll be right back, Tweak. A week? Nah, it won't take a week. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. <laughs> Come back here, you! Ah, that should do it. The gub connector is working, Peso. I'll have the gub eggs back together in no time. Huh? Peso? Yeah, got you! Uh oh. Tweak! Come in, Tweak! Can you hear me? One more time, Quasi. One, two, three. Oh dear. It's hopeless. This ship isn't going anywhere. And neither am I. We're not giving up, Lenny. Yow! The gub's moving all by itself! Tweak must have repaired the gub connector. If we follow the glider, we'll find our way back. Lenny, are you all right? I suppose so, thanks to my extra hard shell. <laughs> Ow! Oh, my flipper! It hurts from being wedged in those rocks. I can't swim in this condition. Just have to leave me here, I suppose. Oh dear, dear, dear. You need to see our medic, Peso. Come on, we'll carry you. Hello, Tweak. Hello. Where are you? Whoa! Flappity flippers, the octo ski. Tweak fixed the gub connector. Wait for us. <laughs> Whoa! It's Captain Barnacles and Quasi, and the Loggerhead Sea Turtle is with them. Oh no, he's hurt. This flipper splint should do the trick. Oh, it feels much better. Thanks. I guess things are looking up after all. Lenny's on the mend, the rover cam is back, and the Gup X is all in one piece. Now, we just have to find our way back to the Octopod. Um, Cap, I fixed up the Gup connector, but I'm afraid the mapping system still doesn't work. How will we find our way out of here? Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll spend the rest of our days lost in the sea of vanishing ships. Lost? Oh, I never get lost. We loggerheads have a great sense of direction. I travel in and out of here all the time. You don't get confused in all this murky seaweed? Not a bit. <laughs> and now that you've fixed my flipper, I'm ready to swim. Then lead the way, Lenny. Don't mind if I do. Incredible! You've led us straight back to the octopod. Thanks, Lenny. Aye, Lenny. You're right. He vanished. Boo! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Octonauts, our mission here is complete. Dashi, prepare to launch the octopod. I'm on it, Captain. Captain 
There's something wrong with the ship. It's <laughs> Tweak, any idea what just happened? I've already found the problem, Cap. It's the bubble converter. It's broken, and the octopod can't take off without it. Can't you just make a new one, matey? I could, but that would take days. Or months. Months? It looks like we don't have days or months. We've got to do something now. There is one other bubble converter. Ah, you mean... Uh-huh. Uh, of course. The old octopod. The old octopod? What old octopod? Uh, did we not mention this is actually the second octopod? Uh, no, matey. I think I'd remember another octopod. Oh, well, then this here's the new octopod. But way back when, before we were even the octonauts, there was an old octopod. It never did work quite right. Well, we crashed it. But when we came back to fix it... It had become an artificial reef, home to hundreds of creatures. So we had to leave it where it was. The old octopod should still have a working bubble converter. Then there's no time to lose. To the GUP A. Dashi, keep an eye on the ship. We'll be back as soon as we can. Aye, aye, Captain. Everybody this way. <laughs> There it is. The old octopod. Shiver me whiskers. I much prefer the new one. Activate helmets. We're going in. The quickest way in is through the manual steering pod. But how are we going to get in, Captain? Ah, I know a little trick. Wow. It's just like home. Only not. Only very not. Only very, very not? This is not how I left these chairs. Tweak, we don't have much time. Uh, right. The bubble converter should be in here. It'll just take a minute, Cap. A fast! What was that? <gasps> I didn't see anything. But there was something. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> Ta-da! And it looks like it's in great shape. Well, that was easy. Or not. Oh, that's better. No, it's not. Something grabbed the bubble converter right out of my paw. I told you there was something in here. Whatever it is, it has our bubble converter. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, Kip, this one doesn't work. Oh, yes, of course. Octonauts, to your stations! Uh, Octonauts, are you there? Right here, Captain. Octonauts, I'm afraid this mission is taking longer than expected. There's something aboard this ship, and it's just stolen the bubble converter. Whoa! Um, is everything all right there? Uh, everything's under control, Captain. Oh, and we're getting quite a workout. Oh. Hang in there. We're moving as fast as we can. Octonauts, let's split up and find that thief. I'm entering the sick bay now. No sign of the converter. Who's there? Uh, uh, hey, let me out of here, you orange... Whatever you are! I'm in the game pod, mateys! Just a volleyball. Cut it out! You cut it out! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls! Who can throw eight balls at once? I've reached the launch bay. Looks like someone's been down here moving stuff around. Ink? Huh? The barrels are back. But how? No, 
Now this is scary. A library with no books. Huh, we must have left one behind. Whoa! What on earth? Captain, I saw some attack me with volleyball. Came out of nowhere. Uh, Captain, what are you doing on the floor? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, something just grabbed me. We better get to the bottom of this. Come in, Shellington. We need help identifying a mysterious creature. <laughs> Certainly, Captain. What can you tell me about it? Well, it's got tentacles. And it can throw eight things at once. And it squirts ink. And it's orange. Hmm. Oh, sounds like a giant Pacific octopus. I agree. My Pacific cousins are the largest species of octopus. And they often make their homes in old abandoned ships. <laughs> well, how about that? I modeled the octopod after the giant Pacific octopus. And now there's one living in it. Yeah, but why did it steal our converter? It was probably just curious. Giant Pacific octopuses are very clever and they always investigate new things. Hmm. Then maybe we can give it something new to be curious about. This ought to get its attention. And then, when it comes to investigate, we'll get our converter. Everybody into position. Lights out. Look. It's huge. Shh. Just a little closer. Now. <laughs> Stay alert, everyone. It might make a swim for it. Yeah. It escaped. And it got the flashlight out of the jar. But where did it go? Huh? <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. Follow that octopus. Easy now. We're not going to hurt you. Oof. Search everywhere. Ah, no sign of the eight-armed scallywag. She has to be in here somewhere. Ink. Ah, oh, hello there. Stay back. Don't make me ink you again, you invaders. Invaders? Us? Yes, this is my home. I'd arranged everything just the way I like it, and I don't appreciate you barging in without permission and moving everything around. We're sorry. We only came for our bubble converter. This thing? It was in my home, so it's mine. Hmm. You are absolutely right. We didn't realize you were living here. Perhaps you'd be willing to trade it for something new. Huh? You have yourself a deal, young fellow. How about we shake on that? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the new bubble converted did the trick. How's it feel, Cap? The octopod's running perfectly, Tweak. I'm just glad we're not running anymore. Look, we're passing the old octopod now. Hmm? Looks like you left the light on. <laughs> Everybody wave. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, well. See ya. <laughs> Hold still, Mr. Lobster. There, good as new. Ah, thanks, mate. Dashy to Peso. Come in, Peso. There's a storm heading your way, and it looks like a big one. Thanks, Dashy. Oh, 
head back to the octopod right away. That's the problem. The storm's moving fast. You won't make it back here in time. Peso, your best option is to get in the Gup E and find a safe place to wait it out. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll check back in when the storm passes. Stay safe, Peso. It'll be safe down here. Come on. Good idea. I'll just get the Gup E. Oh, no. <sighs> Captain, come in, Captain! I don't believe it! Just a little further! is the perfect place to wait out the storm. <sighs> well, it's kept us safe for many, many years. Who said that? Good day, mate. Flappity flippers. <laughs> There's no need to be frightened. It's only us tree lobsters. Tree lobsters? Now, now, give him space, fellas. <laughs> we don't get guests up here very often. I'm old Howie, at your service. I'm Peso. I am... You actually live up here. Yeah, of course. But it's a giant rocky spike in the middle of the ocean. Ah, oh, you must be wondering how we got here. Well, <laughs> actually, I can't seem to remember. It all happened so long ago, you see. But uh, we've made a happy little home for ourselves up here. How many of you are there? Only 24 at the last count. Oh, yeah. all right. But once these eggs hatch, there'll be a few more. Oh. <sighs> ah, goodness me, where are my manners? You must be exhausted. Rest up, my friend. We'll look after you tonight. Thanks. I just think I need to rest my eyes for a bit. Lobsters. Oh. Where did they go? Ah, tree lobsters or no tree lobsters, I'd better get back to the octopod. Mm. Looks like there's only one way down. Ahoy there, matey! Quasi, Captain! Glad to see you're all right, Peso. We found the guppy, but we've been searching for you all morning. You won't believe what happened to me last night. You can tell us all about it back at the Octopod. Climb aboard. Let's get you home. There were only 24 of them, and they all lived under this one tiny shrub. But then, when I woke up, they were gone. Yeah. Based on our location, it sounds like you washed up here on Ball's Pyramid. Strange. Ball's Pyramid has been explored many, many times and nobody's ever found any tree lobsters. I've never even heard of a tree lobster before. Peso, are you sure that maybe it wasn't all just a dream? It's not unusual to have strange dreams when you're in a dangerous situation. I don't know. Maybe it was all a dream. I believe you, matey. You, you do? I've heard enough strange tales to know there's usually a scrap of truth behind them. There's got to be something in the library about these tree lobsters of yours. Come on! Mysterious island monsters, castaway creatures, exotic beasts of land and sea. Quasi, it's been hours and we still haven't found anything about tree lobsters. Just a few more books, matey. Whoops! <gasps> a tree lobster! Ha-ha! <laughs> I knew we'd find them! Listen to this! Lord Howe's Island stick insects, or tree lobsters, once lived on islands off the coast of Australia. Shiver me 
whiskers! It's amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, no one has seen a living tree lobster in many years. I see one right now and it's on your head! Ow! A baby tree lobster. I must have somehow brought one of the eggs back with me. We'd better get you back home. <laughs> Ow! He's getting away! Ow! Quasi, Peso, what's going on? There's a real life tree lobster loose on the ship! We have to catch him, Captain. Sound the octo alert! Octonauts to the H. Uh, no, um, Octonauts to the launch. Um, follow that tree lobster! <laughs> Incredible! I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> we knew that tree lobsters were real, didn't we, Peso? <laughs> He's heading for the kitchen. Watch out, vegetables! It up slowly, Tunip. We don't want to startle him. <laughs> Looks like he's heading for the garden pot. Let's go. I don't see the little guy anywhere, Cap. Keep looking. He's got to be around here somewhere. Huh? <sighs> Under a plant, just like home. Oh, all that running must have tired him out. He's sound asleep. We need to get him back to his home on Bull's Pyramid. Peso, Quasi, to the Gup A. Wake up, little fella. You're home. Ah! You mean you climbed up there all by yourself, Peso? I did have a little help from a huge wave. Well, we'll be getting a little help from these climbing claws. Ooh. Hold on, little fella. <laughs> Shouldn't be much further now. I think the shrub is just a... <laughs> I've got you, matey. And I've got you. <laughs> Good catch, Captain. The shrub. Kind of scraggy little thing, isn't it? This is where the tree lobsters live, Peso. Yes, but where are they? <sighs> Peso! Old Howie! Huh? <laughs> You're back! And you brought little Howie Jr. with you. <laughs> Oh, we were so worried. But where were you? Well, sleeping, of course. We tree lobsters are nocturnal. We only come out at night. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. That's why no one's ever seen you before. Peso, this is an incredible discovery. You'll notice that our tribe has grown. Number 25 and 26 hatch today, and Howie Jr. here makes 27. Keep an eye on Howie Jr. He's a lively one. <laughs> Thanks for bringing him back to us. Won't you all stay the night as our guests? We'd be honoured, but we should head back home before it gets dark. Goodbye, old Howie. Goodbye, tree lobsters. Hey, bye. Thanks for coming soon now. Oh, um, how do we get down from here, anyway? I think you're going to like this part, Quasi. <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Matey. Come on, everyone join in. 
Right, let's go!